Hello. Christmas is some way off, but I'm beginning to see the signs. One of the remarkable thing about Christmas is the number of symbols it has. There's holly or ivy or mistletoe or the yule log or the Christmas tree. Then there's a range of snow and ice things, including snow scenes with or without villages and churches. And there are sleighs and icicles and snow crystals and winter sports. And there are Christmas refreshments, mulled wine and Christmas puddings and more. And there are stars and angels and robins and candles and Santas. And there are even crib scenes and processing kings. And it's not just visual symbols. There are sounds as well, sleigh bells and carols and smells, mince pies and cinnamon. It seems an awful lot for just one season. But there are other symbols in our lives which are important too. Remember the elaborate symbols of the Olympic Games. Think of the poppy at this time of year, a symbol if there ever was one. And think of national flags. Different countries have different ways of using the flag, but often it's very, very important. And in some countries, there are even laws about the flag and how it should be used. We like symbols. Anything that can be said in a symbol can also be said in words. But words lead us to analysis, and analysis leads us to thinking. Well, thinking's good, mostly, but perhaps on occasion, perhaps sometimes, we want something that bypasses thinking and speaks more directly to other parts of ourselves. And that's something which symbols do so easily. And beyond symbols, there are what we call sacraments. Those symbols which are specially reserved to our faith and what it means to us. Everyday things like bread and wine and water and gestures like a touch become special because they are used to link us directly with God. Let us pray. O oh God, who gave us through your Son a new and living way to holiness of life, Give us the assurance of your mercy and bless us with your grace so that we, coming close to you with a clean heart, may join in your mysteries and make you an offering of righteousness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.